Okay, so let's begin first to find a map that we want to import or use as a base inside the world machine. And it's multiple places we can go with this. Um, just a few, so I want to show you online. You can see right here we have it from uh, Terrain Parry, which is provide some terrain I'll show in a second, but it's not necessarily very high resolution. If you want go for the highest available for free online, that is probably be going to SGS. And from here you can set up and select uh, maps. I have a tutorial precisely step by step how to do this and what format exported and how to use it. So I'll link to that tutorial below. And also you can, if you want to create your own randomly, you can download it from filter forge. They have multiple filters. You can see like right here, you can create all of this different terrains. And of course you can create your own in Photoshop. It's what I'll just show very fast how we can create it. First two, what we was looking, they are based on real world. And if you're going actually to the NASA side, you can also find the Mars map or other ones. So you can base it on your real world if you want to use them. If you want to create your own imaginary world, that is what we're going to look on this. Um, and again, this is just a base grayscale, which represent the black is lowest point and the uh, white is highest point. So in Photoshop, let's create a new layer. And we'll go just filter, render, and we'll go to use the clouds. You can see it's already create somewhat fractal look. And let's go to again, filter, render, different clouds. And you can see how it's selected. We can go over and just use it, you know, um, different renders again, more of this. Just create a different ones. And if you want the river, let's create very fast river. We create a new layer. For this, let's fill up this layer with absolutely white color. And we'll go also filter, render. We'll go to the tree. And inside the tree, we'll just set, um, doesn't matter light direction, no leaves, leaf side zero, zero. We want just branches and we'll use the pine tree for this. And let's just see how high Maybe want to go a little bit like maybe down there. Thickness again, think about that tree as a river, how it's going. So how wide you want it. All right, when we're done, we'll click OK. So right here we have it. Our tree is selected for us. Let's just do filter. Uh, Stir it and we'll go to waves. In a way, we'll just use it, maybe, you know, let's use the five generators. Just amplification, maybe pop up a little bit. I'll look on the wavelengths, adjustments. Yeah, just leave it bigger. Click OK. So right here we have it kind of weird looking. And we'll just use it. Multiply on this mode. You can see we have overlay a little bit river, so it will kind of add it to the point. Uh, let's go to transform, make it bigger. So let's go over map right here. And you know what? Let's do on this. We'll just curve, add bits, uh, luminosity, and we'll just take a black and make it a little bit lighter. Again, some of this tree, I want to duplicate it and we'll go to uh, filter, blur, cut and blur. So we'll add a little bit more smoothness to the edges. Again, this is, you can play around, but I just want to show you a little bit effect. And remember you always, um, let's group that one, add black and white and link it. So we'll just have it black and white. If you want to create any hill on this, you always can use a different modes. For example, we have it. Want to create there, fill up with our um, filling, and you can see we can use it kind of like screen mode, our blending mode set to the screen, and we can create all this weird stuff. I'll just create bubbles right here, and let's set all this to the 
screen as well. And remember what's happening where we have it white, it will be higher, black. So you can create all as your imagination is going, you can create very weird um, terrains as you want. As long as you keep it in mind, black, it will be lower level and white will be higher level. Again, um, if you're using Terrain Party, it does export. For example, here's one export I did for the around Yellowstone Park. And it does produce, but however, the result is, I think it's 30 meters around there, plus minus. They also have a 10 meters resolution. So I think this is maybe actual 10 meters resolution. But again, it is one, one pixels, it's about 10 meters. So you can find better resolutions online for the pay or whatever is your project is going. So it's what we're going to do. When we generate those high field maps, now we want to use them as a base inside the world machine. Okay, so let's go import inside the world machine. And for this, we'll use it in our generators. We'll use the file input node. Let's open. Um, when we open file input, we'll go to uh, preload. Let's go ahead and click on load and we'll select 10 meters map that created let's go click open one thing we probably want to get it a little bit closer to white in here and height and most maps like right here if we're looking at says 19 kilometers so this is size what we output it was 19 kilometers okay let's go to minimize that one and let's put right here one nine actually oops i push it 180 which we don't need it Okay, so 19 kilometers by 19 kilometers. Uh, rest, we'll just leave it in. We can all defaults, it let out, blank. Okay, so it's fine. Let's go ahead, click OK in this case. And you can see we have it already our map showing. Uh, let's go very fast pre-render. And here is our map that we just imported. Again, this is very basic. And if we're getting very close, you can see that is not necessary high resolution. So next, what we want to do in World Machine, it is add a little bit more fractal on top of this to create some effect of the um, maybe terrains. We can play around with this now to create a little bit higher details. To do this, of course, we'll go to use our um, advanced Perlin. And we can use it in different ways. We can use it as a mask input for the advanced Perlin. And you can see we have, let's render. Now we have a little bit more grain resolution. We do lose some of those details and we'll bring them back. But again, we can use it this way. We can also take an overlay. Okay, so what I want to do, it is using blending mode on this too, to just add a little bit of the plan. You know, before this, let me decrease because I want noise. That's what I'm doing, just uh, adding a little bit noise, just playing with different settings. And let's reduce a little bit elevation. Okay, and I'm just previewing in the map on our top left corner. Next, we'll go to the combiners. And we'll just simple combiner, take those two together, primarily our input. You can see how they mix it. We can go with the add. So it's meaning one to add another one. This original map and as we're changing, we're modifying. So for example, let's go right here. We'll open preview in a map. Okay, and you can see as we open combiner, how we can change, add a little bit more detail. So necessarily we don't need it, maybe increase that much, but just add a little bit more. It is changing shape from original because we adding information that wasn't there. So be careful when you do, but I want to add overall up because my next step for this, it is and let's just pre-render and you can see again before it's less details and after we have this little bit more grainy details what I wanted. Okay, 
So my next step to this is add some additional details to that. So first let's go just to add for fun terrace. And it will create um, small terraces on this. We have it seven. Let's go pop up a little bit to the nine. And we'll leave it as default shape, pre-render. And you can see right here we start having terraces. That actually wasn't in real life. You know, maybe a little bit too much of this terraces. So let's go ahead, open and modify it. We have it sharp. Let's go a little bit more on the smoother on the edges. And we'll just, yeah, no, we don't want that one. Let's change, modify the layering. And, you know, maybe even 20. So we have it much smaller. 20, let's go pop up to 30. Yeah, that one will be a little bit better. A bit more terrains again i'm not necessarily like how they're going and we can smooth those terrains as well if they're too strong so remember we have a combiner here we have a terrace here if you want to smooth it we can always go to the combiner and add a little bit with that so let's go to combiner select another combiner and we have now our main one and let's go take from here Okay, and make those ones a little bit more random. We can control by mask input. Okay, let's go to the generators. We'll just take again advanced Perlin as our main generator and we'll just connect to the mask. Okay, in the mask, we can also modify it. Okay, let's play with this. And we'll, by creating, adjusting, and you can see right here, our now a little bit more Okay, the wrong one. I want this combiner. Okay. So let's look on a combiner and you can see we can add, which is we'll have. Okay, render. So adding a little bit more, but I think when we went back to average, it was look a little bit more interesting, natural. And we can, of course, going between two of them, like increasing. And you can see right here, we're increasing. Um, more of the step but i think about that area okay let's go pre-render and here go we have it nice areas again because we're using mask it won't apply everywhere somewhere it will apply it somewhere rock fall down but it does look i think more natural in this way okay and of course next one what i want to do to this map it is add a little bit of the natural erosions and we'll go into natural tab we'll click on erosion we'll just put right here notice we have it all is different you have it your uh, coastal erosion you have it your river reach you have it your snow so you have it all is different type you can add it but for purpose of this we won't go too much in complex how we can combine i just want to show you different flows you can use it but again we'll just use the erosion so we'll go select primary input and when we open editing, I want to change to channel erosion. Just make a little bit different, increase a little bit on rock hardness segment, and we'll enable a little bit of geological time and hands. So let's say this is how that area maybe look after like 100 years. We don't know. Okay, let's go ahead, open preview. We'll click on render. And you can notice how much is different now. So we have it all this erosion, maybe a little bit too strong erosions in some areas. So let's go ahead, open our preview, and we'll just take a little bit time enhancement down, take segment carry, and this is segment that's what fill up bottom areas. And you can see how it's all going. So we'll just take a little bit down, rock hardness. Yeah, let's move her in. Base erosion, maybe just around that area. So we will add time. And of course, our time, you can see it is overall affecting you know, maybe right around here. Okay, let's click OK. Render and before and after. I think this way, mostly I'm looking on 
like around that area and you can see we still have a general shape on doesn't look too bad and we can look before and after so there you go there's our little bit enhancement uh, let's go back to our main and as we look here was our before we do have base a little bit on this effect and after our enhancement so it was and here is our after okay so we have it before and after we do lose some of this and it's kind of almost inevitable when we start modifying so much on a shape to add details but it is it's much higher details so we enhance and in general when you look for example this you will recognize some of those elements because how I say it's more in the reality it's and if you want again you, we can overlay even more on top of this map to bring smoothness to this if you need it again if you feel like you want another one you can add straight file input to another combiner and blend even more so let's go as just example we'll do that we'll go to our combiners we'll take another combiner we'll take our file input and we'll take our combiner in okay let's go to um, open preview so for now and here you can see how we are uh, add a little bit noise again but still keeping up um, the all those details so in this case with combiner of course we can go more or less and just let's go just maybe pop up a little bit around here okay render there we have it some details maybe terrace start popping up you know what maybe even a little bit more around here let's render they go a little bit more details again we're smoothing and we'll can go now back to our erosion okay let's render on this and now they're actually blending a bit there and again before and after it's kind of a little bit more closer but we are enhanced and the goal was enhance more with this but beside the enhancement what's happening also here we have all of this maps output and it's what we're going to use actually in next portion we're going to add some of those maps and um, let's create output files out of them